What's up, YouTubers? This is going to be the 5 milliwatt astronomy laser um, made by Unknown. So, let's go ahead and get started. That's not coming off. Nice. Nothing in there. And this box is dented. Alright. Here's the box. Here's the laser. So you get a laser, five milliwatts. It's pretty damn big. Let's use a pilot pin. Oh. You can see the size difference. Alright, and you get uh, probably a made in China batteries, two of them. One was out of place. At least they're batteries, and they work, I hope. And let's look at the laser itself. Nice. Here it is. It's just its little warning about lasers. And uncap it here. Or oh, it screws. Unscrews. Oh, even better. Alright, this is the battery compartment. And this is the laser. And I'm going to do a night test in just a minute after I do a day test. It has like a rubberized plastic feel, almost like the Flip Ultra HD, but it's not soft. It's kind of hard, but it's rubberized. Oh, look at that. This thing is going to be fun. That is a sharp blazer. I don't, I don't want to point out the camera because I know it's going to damage uh, the camera sensor. I'm not so sure about CCDs, but I'm sure if I shine it on this shitty little Flip Ultra, it'll break. It'll break the sensor. So, I'll do a night shot with that. Since it does light nights 
night shot's a little bit better than this camera, just a little bit, but it's high grain or it has the high noise. Anyways, this laser is going to be fun. Um, the button's kind of loose, it's flickering on and off without me doing anything, but here it is. I'm going to do a night test in just a minute. Now one more note, I'm not sure if you saw this before, but look at the middle, right above the green, green laser. Avoid or wrecked eye exposure. Nice, nice typo. It says ORECT. So focus here. Avoid ORECT. That's really nice. And the stick, these stickers are a little bit off. And this thing just comes right off. Of course. What do you expect? It costs about $8 off of Amazon. Without not including the shipping. This thing just comes off. And you can see the top of it. Right there. I'm pretty sure this is supposed to be glued on, but uh, shady down there, shitty reflective LCDs. All right, this is going to be the laser test out in. It's not the brightest out here, but it's pretty, pretty cloudy. It's cloudy all around. It's been like that all day. It's still pretty bright. I wouldn't say it's. I wouldn't say it's. You have to squint your eyes really to. To look at the sky. But. You can get an overall view of how bright it is outside. And I'm gonna test this laser out. I'm gonna start. Right here. If it. You see the laser. It's hard to see on the camera. It's a little bit brighter in real life. But I'm going to follow this laser. Oh, I can't see it on the camera screen. I really can't. I'm doing it right now. It doesn't seem that bright really. Oh, there's something wrong with my laser. It's not very bright at all. Alright, let's try this again. You see the laser? Oh, I don't know what's wrong with it. It's messing up. Messing up. Probably the batteries. You can see it on my shirt real well. Yeah, it's messing up. Give me a second here. Well, of course, I figured out the problem. I haven't even played with it for two minutes, and the batteries are already dead. Look at this. Watch this. That's it. Push it one more time. There, it dims. That's it. Do it right here. Can't see it anymore. The battery's dead already and I just played with it for two three minutes now nice hall of shame nothing better than energizer ultimate lithium batteries which I have installed in here and we can continue on our test and let's start right here in this pretty bright environment I can barely see it on my camera but I hope you can see it and then I'm going to do it near the chicken cage. I'm going to zoom in. I'm going to zoom in four times. Alright. Let's see where oh, I'm pointing in the water. You see it now? Alright, I'm going up. See it? Oh, lost it. There it is. It's on there. Chicken's trying to peck at it. Now I'm going to shine it over there. See it? They're just like kitty cats. 
they're so amused by it. See, they're trying to peck it. Alright, and you can see how far it was. Over there, that's about, um, say, 100 feet, maybe. Less than that. And this is just a day test, and I'm standing right here and point it at that shed. You see it? Zoom in. See it? Can't see it on the white part. You can see it in real life. The camera's just being a little bit like that. And I'm going to zoom out so you can see how far it is. That's about, say, it's... That's probably a hundred feet away, and that's probably like 80 or 70. And you can see that little laser right there. And this is the daytime test in moderate light. I'm also not sure if you guys caught this earlier. It says avoid exposure laser. So there's a small little grammar error. It should say avoid laser exposure with a space in between but apparently doesn't do that um, and I have a picture of it afterwards and also the batteries that came with it remember they only last like two minutes these batteries <clears throat> tell me what this is a picture of cause it damn looks like a sperm cell to me it really does that looks exactly like a sperm cell I have pictures of both of these um to me um a warning label having the right having the right grammar and spelling is more important than the product itself because it warns you of the dangers and all that maybe there's a sperm cell on the front of it on purpose maybe these batteries are sperm powered who knows This is my flip. My flip bar has some dead pixels, so... Alright. Alright, here I am in the same spot I was before. And, um, right now it's just past 7 o'clock, and believe it or not, it is dark and dark you can see some trees and stuff but um usually around summertime it doesn't get dark until around I'm not even playing 8 30 8 45 right now it's 7 and it's completely dark and I'll go ahead and see see show you the laser I'm recording my flip um and it's a little bit sprinkling outside so I better hurry up um so I didn't bring my other camera because there's no point of using a zoom. But right now this is pretty far. I'm not sure if you can see that beam of light in front of the camera. You can't. But here's a laser. It's coming out. And it's going all the way over there. And now this is my house. Now I'm pointing it up to a very tip of a tree. It's very high. 
and since it is cloudy, you really can't see any, um, there aren't any things you can really point at that. You can point at treetops, and this is pretty damn far away, I mean, it really is. Um, I'd say that's, that's about 100, 125 feet away. And by the way, the, earlier that chicken cage when it sells 80 or 100 feet away, it's it's really it's really like 50. It's not 100 or 80. That shed is 100 that I talked about earlier. You can't see anything. And that tree's like 150 feet. And that's really the farthest I can go. Yeah, that's about 150 feet away also. I'll go ahead and go to my Oh, there's a tree right there. That's about two. Uh, that's about two hundred feet away. That's my neighbor's tree. And it's pretty far away. Um, this laser works pretty well. And now I'm gonna try to shine it down my street. All right, here's a view of my um down the street, I guess you can say. And right over there, that's about two hundred feet. You can't see it. On, yeah, you can. It's about 200 feet away. You can see that laser right there next to that light pole. Yeah, this is pretty damn far. There's a tree past that light. Light and um. Oh yeah, you can see it. In real life, you can. On the flip, you probably can't. But there's a tree down there. That's like 150. No, 200 and like 200 feet away. It's pretty far. Um, and here's a tree in my front yard, once again you can see that, and there's a tree about 150 feet away, you can see that, now you can see the beam of light, can't you, the beam of light from the laser, you can kind of see it, because it is misting out here, um, sky wise I really can't do anything, the sky is on the mid. Oh, I actually think I see it stopping at a cloud. The flip can't see it. Oh well. There's a power line. A few power lines. You can see it now. Um, you can see down there. That's like 250 feet away. Um, my space is limited, really it is. But this thing goes pretty far. That's about 250 feet away, down the street. Over there, you see that laser. Yeah, that's all I can really do. I mean, it goes pretty far. And that's all I can do. And this is the review of the 5 milliwatt green laser. And here it is. <clears throat> I hope you can see the beam of light. It is kind of misting now. And... You can see how far the laser goes. Now I'm going to shoot it towards the sky. And as you can see, it kind of stops or goes through the cloud or something. It's kind of cool. You can measure the length of the clouds like this. It's almost like a giant light saber or whatever they call it. I mean, it really is. It's, it's pretty cool. It's glowing lime green all the way to the sky. This flip doesn't record light really well, very well. But this is awesome. You should see this in real life. It's like I have a piece of green fiber optic string going as high as I can see. And it is lime green too. And that's the laser.